Blessed love, my family, salam to, to one and all. We definitely give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life, Emperor Haile Selassie I. Listen, it is a joy that you are here with us today in the tiger's nest. Of course, you know, I'm the honorable priest Isaac. And for sure, I'm definitely going to present this wonderful sit down with you today. As you could already see in the title, we want to know what's going on with Bugs Bunny and that drum. You're saying, hey, listen, I know many ones are already saying, what kind of conversation is this brother bringing to us today? But it's not a joke. Is extremely serious. So just give me a few moments and you'll see how serious it is. In fact, give me a whole evening. I'm talking about Wednesday, the 22nd day. Wednesday, the 22nd day of December 2021. We will be starting a series of lectures, three lectures, family, three lectures we are giving to you within a, a, a short period of time, beginning on Wednesday, the 22nd day of December. Then, of course, Wednesday, the 23rd day, or not Wednesday, but Thursday, the 23rd day of December, and then Sunday, the 26th day of December. Three days, three online lectures, and the first one will be fairy tales, folly days, and nursery crimes, the firing squad edition. Wow. Now, of course, many of you have been following us as we have been going through the fairy tale and folly days and nursery crime saga. And the saga really continues from the days when we've been telling you, you know, you know, um, why Winnie the Pooh wears a shirt and doesn't wear a pants. You know, from the days when we'll be showing you, well, if Big Bird is a, a male bird, why does he live in a, a nest all by himself? Male birds don't do that. And and Snuffleupagus, why is it that nobody can see Snuffleupagus when he comes around except Big Bird? And, you know, he was quite scary and funny and strange, and we unraveled all of that. We showed you the subliminal messages that are hidden within all of these cartoons, commercials, even musics, and all of these different things that they have purposely designed to bombard our youths, our children, and turn them into kids, young goats. So for sure, again, as I just said, the saga continues, family. Remember, this is not a joke. Eh? This is not a ring around the rosy. This is not a comedy show. The people that put these cartoons together didn't do it so you could laugh, so you could bust your belly. Again, let me clearly explain. These shows, cartoons, comic strips, they're layered with witchcraft and some deep, dark magic. And I'm not just guessing it. We can clearly detail it for you, unlike no other, straight up. Years we study in this in depth. So I'm telling you, on the 22nd day of December, mm -hmm, 2021, Wednesday, the 22nd day of December, 2021, myself, the Honorable Princess Akesha Menin will be returning for another dynamic presentation. And the Honorable Prince Almasi for sure, who obviously is the designer of these flyers that you're looking at, we will be bringing that presentation to you, talking about fairy tale, folly days, and nursery crime. And again, this is the Firing Squad edition. Now that's just night number one. That's night number one on the second evening now we will be returning with another lecture entitled The Santa Claus Massacre. And this one is total in annihilation. This one specifically will be presented by myself, another online lecture, and the admission will be the same. Now, I know a lot of ones will be saying, but wait, why is all of this total annihilation? Wanted dead and not alive and massacre and firing squad. I mean, what, why, why, why is the priest so harsh? This is not no harsh thing, family. This is not no harsh thing at all. This is as serious as serious can get. You see, the problem is that you are not aware of how dangerous these characters, these folly days, these nursery crimes are. You're not, you know, so, so it seems to you as if I'm doing something bad. But when they throw on you goosey, goosey gander, and you say, who? Goosey, goosey gander. Where shall I wander? You say, what? Goose, goose gander. A goose and a gander, that's two genders of the same animal. And we're speaking of an individual that has the name of both genders. Goosey, goosey gander. And listen to what they're saying about him. Where shall I wander? It's upstairs or downstairs. 
in a ladies' chamber. So you can see some funny business taking place there. Rock a bye baby on the treetop. Rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow, which is the branch, breaks, the cradle will fall and down will come baby, cradle and all. And, and family, we're just scratching the surface with that. No, man, we don't go nowhere yet. When we start to decode the color of the Smurfs and why seven Smurfs can make gold. Hmm? When we start to decode the type of hat, the Jesuit hat that the Smurfs wear, just like, just like Mithra, the destroyer. Hmm? When we start to, to break down the connection with Hulk and Batman and Bruce Wayne and Bruce Banner, which we did that in a previous online lecture, but what? We're gonna carry it deeper this time. So family, those of you who have been following us for years, even from the days in Tartola, when we did fairy tales, folly days and nursery crimes, the lecture, trust me, keep following because we're bringing some new information to it. Because remember these killers, eh? It's not me make this up. These killers are the one that sit around the table and manufacture this stuff and paint it up and create new ideas, new characters, new foolishness to feed to our children, just like if it's baby food huh? and we swallow it and grow up on it. And a lot of these things have stuck with us and become part of us, our concept, our outlooks. That's why you have so much queer and funny people today because of Big Bird and Snuffleupagus and Ernie and Bert and Bugs Bunny. It's disgusting. That's why we come hard on these these what appears to be fairy tales, though they're not real, they're not real, eh? but they definitely have become crystallized and real inside of us, just like how God dwelling people, Bugs Bunny dwelling people now, Daffy Duff dwelling people. I know people that act like Daffy Duff from school days to now. So, anyway, <laughs> family, you know what to do. Contact us, priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com and get your ticket for whichever night you're coming to. It's three evenings, eh? three evenings. But the first two, we're talking about fairy tale, folly days and nursery crimes, the firing squad edition. And then we will be dealing with the Santa Claus massacre, the total annihilation. Him too. We got to roast him good. You don't know the time of year that it is. We don't have no time to play with that, you know? So definitely contact us. Admission is only $20 for each of the lectures family. But remember it's three lectures that we are having on another occasion. I'll tell you more about the third one, but the third one will be Haile Selassie and Freemasonry. Trust me, this is a must see. That will be Sunday the 26th. Write it down, get a poster, not ready for that yet. Sunday the 26th day of December, what they call Boxing Day, we're gonna box the beef out of the wicked that night there and clearly show you that the king of kings is the king of glory now remember we just did a program not too long ago where we're highlighting so many of the titles that the emperor have they have academics people scholars as you call them that would argue that a lot of those titles are freemasonic titles you can't argue with them no you can't argue with them them kind of discussion is not just for knowledge these kind of discussions is for understanding. You understand, you comprehend, you understand. So it's gonna be a wonderful sit down. That will be that will be Sunday the 26th. All the evenings are 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. All the evenings, the documentary or, or the online lecture will be available by 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time each evening. The Wednesday the 22nd, the Thursday the 23rd, and of course, Sunday the 26th, all three lectures. And each lecture specifically is only $20. But if you if you take the three lectures, I'm sure that those of you who'd want to come to all three, so instead of paying 20 for each, you could pay only $50 and you definitely get the whole you know, package of three lectures. It's gonna be wonderful, especially during that time of the year specifically, you, you're gonna need your mind to kind of free up on that boxing day when everybody running up and down, going crazy and acting mad, you're gonna to wanna to be home sipping on a chalice and you know, taking in the, you know, the lecture, Haile Selassie and Freemason. I didn't ask the question, is Haile Selassie a Mason? The last time I did that, I mean, some people lose their head. People feel like I dissing the king to ask a question. Remember, these are the questions that the young people who are seeking Rastafari ask us. And they're not dumb questions. They have the right to ask that. You see the king in the night of the garter celebration, and you know, as a student of history, that the night of the garter is one of the chief um, um, orders of chivalry 
the most outstanding order of chivalry and Freemasonry, and the king is ahead, is actually at the head of the parade. So you want to know. You don't know, so you want to know. So let's ask Priest Isaac, hey, Highness Selassie is here, Freemason, and that's why we did the video a couple of years ago. It's still on the YouTube. You should check it out. But this is like a continuation of this one now. This is an online lecture of, of that same lecture, but we're taking it to a heavier level now. In fact, I would encourage you to revisit that one on YouTube and prepare for this one on Sunday, the 26th day. Okay, I know I've been saying a lot there, but I'm preparing you at least even for this presentation here. So you have an idea of why, you know, you know, why I chose this subject. I'm not losing my head. It's not as if I'm just mad and saying, well, you know, Bugs Bunny mash up the drum. No, nah, man. No, nah, no, no, no. It's more than that. Again, when you understand and comprehend who these characters are, the makers of these characters, you know, we've taken the time to break down um, Walt Disney's Hanan Barra and these things and explain to you what their mission is, why they did what they did, the characters that they created, hmm? Pinocchio and, and being swallowed by the whale, all of this is some deep science, the, the snow white and, and the rose red, which we have covered, those of you who have been with us for such time, all of this is important stuff when it comes to science, that is why all of these cartoon movies have, have a tie into theology as well and into ancient mysticism and the occult, real thing. So, so Bugs funny now, yeah. Who's always acting gay and queer and all of that. We gotta deal with him, eh? trust me. So, so Bugs funny now, when you really check the vibes with him, as I said, he is literally busting through the drum here. Now, what's the vibes with the drum? And, um, when you um, look at it, hmm, this is something else. This is deep, eh? Because remember the drum, the Naya Bingi drum. That's a bass drum there. Eh? You may say it's a parade drum and blowing the horn kind of drum, but it's a bass drum. Now you have to understand, for those of I and I who are Rastafari, we understand the power of the drum. I mean, this is thunder that you're looking at here. When you see we beat the drum in righteousness of salvation, Daniel number one band, the wicked quake, the wicked shape is earthquake, lightning and thunder happening here, you know, boom, 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 with the bass drum, seven drums lick at the hour of prayer, 12 o'clock and six o'clock, seven strokes of the drum. You understand? You don't be playing with the bass drum and be beating it up and hit eight strokes and six strokes and you have, what, you want something happen to you? You have to be careful with the bass drum. This is why Master Porky Pig banned the bass drum during the days of slavery. Not even just slavery, even, even after slavery and they went into so-called colonialism and the, the, the colonial era. At that time, they still were banning the drum. So you couldn't play the drum nowhere around here in the Caribbean, you know? No, nah, man, you couldn't play no drum. They would come for you and lock you up and specifically, you know, um, kill you just for playing the drums because the drums itself specifically called spirit. What do you think the people in Haiti use to move the wicked? They beat the drum. What do you think the, the, um, the, 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 the wicked them use to definitely um, cut down the, the rebellion? You know, they use the band and the drum. So the drum was against the law. Eh? I mean, it's still on the books in many places. The drum was against the law. Up to now, in certain places, it's still on the books. So this is what happened now, as I'm saying, that the energy that the drum pulls is the ancestral energy. That's the energy that the people in Haiti use to crush Napoleon and to crush the wicked and to crush France. That's the energy that the, the people in Haiti use, you know, from Benin, the homie, the voodoo. Voodoo is the sound of the drum. Voodoo is what cracked the earth. So the drum is power. That's why they ban it. The drum is strength. Even the Indian people, they would ban their drums too when they used to do good, do good, do good, do good, because they know the power of the African drums. Remember Mr. Bugs Bunny, you know? They have cartoons with Bugs Bunny. You know, I mean, mocking black people, painting his face black, and 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 acting um, um, in 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 their mystical ways with the little black boy he have as his little slave and all of that. 
That's why Bugs Bunny is always talking, God, uh, give me cotton picking minute. You, you cotton picking this and cotton picking that. Who's the cotton picking? Who used to pick the cotton? Who you think he talking to when he talking about cotton picking? Hmm? Bugs Bunny we talking about. So we can go on and on and on and pull out his rap sheet. Eh? But the point I'm making here for now is that it's not a mistake. Why they show you this, eh? This is at the end of the cartoons, you know. At the end of the Looney Tune cartoons, Porky Pig. And Mr. Bugs Funny come out to the, the bass drum. They just rip it up. Mm, that's all, folks. See you later. You know, and, and, you know, we don't really get nothing from it. We don't feel no way. Just like I was mentioning mm, um, earlier today on, on the program, Kidemi, on Radio Anu. Remember, we were talking about the genocide in Rwanda. Remember that, those of you who listen to that program, every Sunday we're on it, family. Every Sunday, Kidemi, eh? your Sunday morning's cup of tea, Radio Anu, mm -hmm. the international flavor, the universal spice. The link is in the description below. Just go below and press the link and hear what Radio Anu is saying. And this uprising, we were talking about the genocide when they were destroying the Tutsi people. And we were showing you that during the same time, they had this commercial with an owl and a lollipop. And the question was, how many licks? How many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tutsi, uh, Tutsi roll lollipop? And the owl would lick uh, one, uh, two, and then the owl would bite the lollipop. Three, three licks, you understand? And the whole symbolism of licks, it wasn't gunshot that they were using to destroy the Tutsi, it was licks. They were using machets, they were using cutlasses and beating them and chopping off their heads according to even what the sister that survived was speaking about this morning. Licks and kicks and boxes, but licks. So three licks. So I'm just showing you that the same time that ad was running, I could remember that. I remember that clearly. The same 1994. That was a big commercial when the Tutsi is getting beaten down in Africa, in Rwanda. We're talking about how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tutsi role. Imagine that. So I'm just trying to show you. That's how deep the subliminal messages go. From your bar, bar, black sheep, have you any wool? You know what the wool is? The wool is the locks on your head. Bar, bar, black sheep, bar, bar. You know what a barber is, eh? Bar, bar. Go to the barber. Bar. So how, bar, bar, black sheep, have you any wool? Oh, I have wool. How many wool? I have three bags full. What are your wool doing in bags? I mean, it, the wool get cut off. The barber, bar, bar, black sheep. See, with sheep, so they shave the black man. Now for them African pictures, they show, you know, with the, the, the Africans coming over and all of that and so on. Enough man come over here with locks, Rasta. Enough man that they, they hold and capture is dreadlocks they hold and capture, but they're not painting that picture for you. They're giving you Baba ba, Black Sheep and Mary and her little lamb and hump, Humpty Dumpty, which is not an egg. Eh? That's why I tell you, these wicked people talking about, you know, the rockaby baby on treetop and wind blows and baby drop down and die. And we sing that to our children to put them to sleep. We sing that to our young ones to put them to sleep. So I don't think it's no mistake when bugs bust you our bass drum. It's not no mistake. Because they understand the science of Emmanuel. You think this joke they're making? They know that the bass drum wake up the earth in 1958 when King Emmanuel Charles Edwards called for the first Naya Bingi eh? in history internationally. You know, they know that. They know that. So it's not no joke in their little funny vibes. And I'm going to show you family in those two lectures, because whatever we don't fulfill in lecture number one, fairy tale and folly days and nursery crime, we're going to spill it over in the Santa Claus massacre. Yeah, total annihilation. We're not leaving nobody alive. Yeah, man, we don't play when it comes to them cartoons. We have them as if it's real people we're fighting because that's what it is. And they, and they are responsible for the destruction of the lives of our young ones and some of us with the Transformer and the G.I. Joe and all of these things that they pack in your head, the road run on their heckle and jekyll. I mean, the huckleberry hound and Kung, Kung, Kung Fu, man, they murder you. Not because, not because um, um, what do you call it? Not because Sesame Street teach you how to count it. 
and the count. Imagine the count, the blood, blood drinking count Dracula teaching you how to count. The count teaching you how to count. You see how they already manipulate the words and be playing with you, teaching you how to count. Mm -hmm. And the bigger bird there and, 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 and living in a nest as a male bird. And then his friend Snuffle of August, which nobody can see but him. Only when the gay rights thing got strong and 500,000 mass marched on Washington, all of a sudden you can see Snuffle of August. I'm not making the stuff up. You can't make it up. Wait, what happened to your poke? You ain't watching me so far. You can't make the stuff up. <laughs> yeah, family. So we're going to roast them, man. When it comes to them subject here, man, I jump into this like a samurai. You know what I mean? I rip up teddy bears and them things. We don't play with them things. No, don't bring no, no, come down no chimney for us. We light the fire in the chimney. Try it, huh? Try it. We make sure log would burn in. Chestnuts roasting on the open fire. Come through the chimney now. <laughs> yes, family. So I'm definitely looking forward to your presence, man. It's going to be a wonderful session during that so far Utah season. I'm definitely putting this little package together. So, you know, you could definitely feel comforted in all of the evil that will be flying around Christmas evil when the man coming to looking for the three prostitutes talking about ho, ho, ho. We got to make sure we have good vibration for you. Good information. I want if that one got you. You missed that one there? Rewind it and listen to it again, man. Trust me. So, as I said, it is Wednesday the 22nd. Wednesday the 22nd, fairy tale Folly Days and Nursery Crimes, the Firing Squad Edition, only $20 family. And then we're talking about Thursday the 23rd. Thursday the 23rd, everything here is December 2021, the Santa Claus Massacre, total annihilation. We have on a shades there. <laughs> Boy, vaccine can't even help this time. Eh? You better come with your mask. And of course, this one specifically mm, will be done by myself and that lecture as well is only $20. And then of course, as I said, the Sunday the 26th, I know you don't want to miss this one. This is highly select. This one is going to be super deep. Eh? No, 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 take this nearly for a joke. This is going to be super deep. The 26th day, the 26th day of December, Boxing Day, Highly Selassie and Masonry, showing you exactly what the link is, what's really going on. You know, inquiring minds want to know. Anybody that this in that lecture and say, oh, we're going to deal with that Selassie, you don't know the deal with no Mason, you're ignorant. You're ignorant and you, and you have no, if your old child asks you, you would not be able to answer because you have taken an ignorant stance. You're too religious and too dogmatic. Yeah, Red Cross is a, is a Freemasonic organization. Red Cross, Red Cross. You can't get no more Freemasonic than that. The Rushy Crucian, the, Rush, the Rose and the Cross. That's Britain's flag, eh? the Red Cross. But who you think bring Red Cross into Ethiopia? Who you think bring Boy Scouts into Ethiopia? The king, the king's um, son was the chief scout. I mean, you have to understand, and, and trust me, Lord Baden Powell, the founder of the Boy Scout, them is master masons. So it's more than knowledge, it's understanding. And a lot of us ignorant old fogies need to sit down and calm ourselves. Yeah, man, we ain't playing with nobody today. Sometimes we come cool and calm. So I know some of you be saying, come on, please turn it up. Well, <laughs> when we turn it up, don't, don't try to cool us down. Because trust me, anything that has to do, especially with Satan claws and these fairy tales, we come in with an inferno. So make sure you bring the young ones, family. Don't worry, they, they won't be scared. We ain't inviting Freddy Krueger, but we're gonna have a wonderful time. Yeah, we're gonna have a beautiful massacre. Firing Squad Edition. It's going to be more than just a lecture. Take it from me. It's going to be more than just a lecture. You're going to wonder if it's an action pack movie you came to. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you know what to do. Just email us, Institute at gmail.com. And um, just let us know what you want. You want to be at the lecture on Wednesday. Maybe you just want to come to the lecture on Thursday. Maybe you think you're too grown up for that stuff. So I'm just coming to the lecture on, 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 on Sunday. That means you don't know what's coming on on Wednesday and Thursday. This ain't about children and grown ups. This is about the truth. Who you think create all them cartoons here? Not children. It's grown ups. As you call them. The same killers around the table at the Berlin conference. So family, give thanks for your presence. Give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life. 
<laughs> watch them demons here, you know? <laughs> in all good doings and saying, looking forward to your presence with us. Yes, and of course, remember you join me every evening on the Tiger's Nest. The Tiger's Nest every evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. I'm talking about Radio Anu. And of course, every uprising, every morning, 5.30 sharp, you got to be with me for Serengeti. Yeah, definitely right here on Radio Anu. You know where to find Radio Anu. The link is in the description below. All right. <laughs> you better fix my job. Holy Emmanuel eyes, the last CI, ja. <laughs> Rastafari, give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life, King Rastafari. Blessed love.